going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Titanic FJ. We back in the building today. We hanging out in the bunker. See the box. We looking at another shoe. Go ahead and read the label. Yeezy Boost 700. Size 14. Color inertia, inertia, inertia. Yes. Great to be back in the bunker. I'd like to welcome all the new people to the channel. And appreciate all the older guys that been here. Look at this sneaker. Pretty cool shoe. Take a good look at that. All right, starting with the upper of the shoe. We have some great, great suede right here. It's very good suede. Take real good care of this suede right here. We also have some mesh right here that gives off a, a, a bluish tint, guys. Look at this gray mesh right here. If you look closer, you got the three Adidas stripes underneath here. It's a little lighter gray than the rest of the shoe. We also have some great leather right here. It's very premium. Some great butter soft leather. You know we like the butter soft leather on the sneakers, guys. We got some cat eyes right here giving off that 3M action. We got some great suede right here as well. Moving along to the midsole. Nice thick midsole. Made with the boost technology that these have been using on their sneakers. We got these slanted cat eyes right here in the inertia colorway. Almost like a salmon, but I think it's the inertia colorway that's in the description of the sneaker. We also have some dark gray right here on the midsole and some light gray right here with these nice designs on here. We're going to get a look at the outsole of the shoe. We got the cream, some cream traction on here with the boost technology along the bottom of the outsole. And you have some gray in here as well with the Adidas logo. Let's look at the rear of the sneaker. We got some great mesh material that starts back here at the Achilles area of the sneaker. Go all around to the ankles. We got some great suede right here as well going on. Followed by with the two-tone gray at the back on the bottom of the midsole. On the inside of the sneaker, we got those inertia cat eyes again, guys. With that 3M action going on. So when you're walking, that light hit it. There you go. Some great suede right here. And you can see that Adidas, those three stripes on that Adidas logo in here on this gray mesh. We gonna have some more of that great, oh uh, man. It's some great tumble leather right here, guys. I wish you could feel this leather. Reach out and feel it if you can. Nah, you can't feel it through the camera, guys. But this leather is so soft. We got this gray suede right here. And we got this mesh right here that's giving all that bluish tint right there, guys. The rest of the midsole. Moving along to the toe box. With some gray suede right here. And guys, what type of products would you recommend cleaning this sneaker with? There's a lot of great cleans out on the market. Rejuvenate or Crep, Jason Mark. Comment below. Let me know what you guys are using on these Yeezy 700s. Yes, but this suede right here is very, is very good quality. And I rec strongly recommend taking good care of it with some great cleaning products. We got this mess going on right here. We got the lace loop right here and right here. That's in the bluish tint. They also giving off a little reflection action as well. We got the gray rope laces going on. And we have the tongue on this sneaker that's giving off that bluish tint. It's a pretty cool sneaker right here, guys. I really had to have it added to my collection. This is my second pair of 700s. Sizing on these, I would go true to size, but if you had to go up a half a size, that's probably the most I would recommend. I would not go a size down. I would go true to size, 
or a half a size up, guys. I'm about to wrap this video up, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section what y'all think about these shoes. Also, let me know what y'all used to clean these Yeezys. Stay tuned to the channel for the next video. Y'all stay safe out there. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.